it always starts with the base tea. Daniel now, Lewis mixes his, his latest here. blend of tea at the shop he owns with his wife Renata, a new brew in honor of the royal wedding. The finishing touch to this blend when Harry met Meghan is the sparkle for the Markle, for Miss Markle. So these are silver chocolate dragies. He'll be serving cups of it at an early morning tea party. The H&M latte, right, let's Harry Close Meghan. Taste of that. So let's see how you like that. Oh, it's good. There you go. Lewis and his teas have a special connection to one member of the royal family. His volunteer work with the Prince's Charities Canada led to him being picked to make tea for Prince Charles during a break in last year's royal visit. He loved it. He, he wanted to know where, how it was made. He ordered some from the palace uh, a week later, and then he wrote uh, about two months after a letter to us saying how much he's enjoying it. Toronto's Fairmount Royal York Hotel has obvious connections to the royal family. Its members, including Prince Harry, have often stayed there. This week, the hotel created an English garden scene in the lobby with a display of the food available at a wedding breakfast tomorrow morning. We came out with the new tea ideas, new pastries, new cake, new sandwiches. So that's what we're trying to match up. All the local ingredients, trying to do uh, English style high tea. A few blocks away, another place with royal connections is hosting another wedding viewing party. Toronto's Princess of Wales Theatre was named after Harry's mother, Diana, when it opened in 1993. Her letter thanking the owners hangs in the lobby. And it's the only venue in the world named after her. We happened to have a dark week. We didn't have a show on. We're between shows. So we thought, why don't we take this opportunity and do that? We just think it's, it's better to get people together to watch an event like this. A lot of people would agree. The 2,000 free tickets were snapped up. Ron Charles, CBC News, Toronto.